Hi guys, it's Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. This channel is about bags, lifestyle and fashion. But mostly bags, I post videos every Friday, sometimes Monday and Wednesday. I'm always on a hunt for the perfect bag. If you're like me, subscribe, hit the notification bell and let's enjoy bags together. Today we are in Glasgow for a little shopping visit. I have a few plans for today and first of all it's a Prada boutique I want to check out their new bags after that uh, we are going to see some Valentino Saint Laurent Chloe Burberry and maybe something else and after that I want to move to Mulberry boutique I want to check the Cloverly bag it's really on the top of my wish list and also a soft base water I can't stop thinking about this bag so let's start first of all I wanted to show you what I'm wearing today <laughs> It's my Arcade High Neck Jumper, well, really nice, soft and warm. That one got us some Zara jacket from the last season, autumn 2023. Some just a regular Zara stray jeans, my favorite. Adidas Samba, oh, it's the most comfortable shoes ever. Celine belt and my little bit of green, it's a small Jodie, my little companion for today's shopping vlog. Let's begin. start in Prada. I haven't been to Prada boutique for a while so my eyes are running around the boutique and I want to try pretty much everything. Look at this extra large arc bag. I'm going to try this one on. I've already tried the leather and it's so soft. And the buckle bag. And the different variations there. I really like this brown venti bag. And I can imagine it goes with a crossbody strap as well. I'm going to try that one. More beauties from Prada. More buckle bags. And that one as well. Oh, I'm really interested in that one. Again, reminds me of Laya Lottakel bag. We're going to see more and more of those bags, guys, I promise, this summer. And then I think it will go into autumn and the bigger version of the same bag. Our classic re-edition 2000 in all different colors. I still believe they are really great bags. And if you have one of those on your wish list, I think they are still fashionable and looking great and the re-edition 2005 so I'm trying this ARC Prada bag in such a large size sits really well on the shoulder it's super soft and nice that what it looks on me I'm 5'3", 163 centimeters tall, and I usually wear size 10 UK, just for a reference. And we're going to try a couple of more bags as well. I really like the shape of this vanity bag. We're going to check just in a second if it can fit the phone, my large iPhone, 16 centimeters long. But it's amazing, and as I said, it also comes with a crossbody strap as well. Look at that. The vanity bag, I'm not going to lie, the vanity bag is one of the bags on my wish list at the moment. Ideally from Chanel, the vintage one. 
but in the product could also been be considered due to this shape. I really like that shape. Okay, reporting back on this little cutie, it can fit the large iPhone uh, Pro Max 16 centimeters long just and it actually fits really comfortably there so you don't need to like to put the phone diagonally or something like that it just perfectly made for the size and shape of the iPhone uh, Pro Max and that's the price tag there and it can also report that it comes in a different colors and also with a adjustable and removable strap with 360 rotation which allows the bag to sit really comfortably around your body and that's what it looks like cross body guys i think i'm in love i didn't i didn't mean to fall in love i didn't want it but i am in love oh, that's on the middle adjustable settings see this little bucket and adjustable holes over here of incredible what do you think about this little cutie a vanity bag going from small to smaller look at this a heart shaped two little pouches everything is removable and even they are removable and detachable and you can use them separately how cute is that and then just this one can be swapped like this so you don't see a little buttons either oh just absolutely <laughs> quintessence of the cuteness if you ask me about the practical value i would say absolutely zero no practical value at all but on the scale of cuteness it's probably 10 out of 10. And I also wanted to try that bag, which is very similar to Alaya What to Cow bag. The shape, the long shoulder straps, and the logo, the Prada logo over here, and the buckles as well. To be honest with you, I probably prefer the Alaya bag because it's like a cleaner, less all of that decorative elements on the bag. But this one is very edgy and the fashionable as well. And they also have here a little pre-loved pop-up. I'm going to cruise and see what I found in the Bottega Veneta section. Beautiful new Bottega Veneta hob bag in a large size. <laughs> Compare that to my little small Jody. Yeah, my small Jody 
feels like really small compared to that huge one. I'm going to try this one on. And that's what it looks like. It has magnetic closure, unlike the small Jody with that zip closure. It's same fondant color. And it feels, it's full of stuffing, but it feels pretty heavy, heavier than my small Jody. That's a whole bag in the smaller size, in the black and the pink color. The lighting is not really good here, so I'm not sure if you can see the color properly. And more in Diamo's bags. That one's a square version. And I really like how the new one has a leather and chain at the same time, unlike the previous version with just the leather and the metal bow here. That feels really heavy. I really like that too. Moving to the Valentino section, the lighting is not the best here, I'm filming against the sun. I hope you can see everything. I really like those little pump flat ballerina shoes. A little thingy over here and also again it's a mesh and see-through with a V for Valentino, same one in the black color, I probably prefer it in the brown color. And that's the price there. We have a classic rock stars in different variations. That one's absolute classic ones. And that one with a little diamantes and the mesh see-through as well. And that one's a little cute one. Oh, I really like this one. I'm going to try this on just in a second. What's your opinion about rock stars, guys? Is it absolute meh or it's an absolute classic? And this little round bag, which reminds me of Louis Vuitton Blot Chapeau Souple bag in a small size. Classic. And incredibly cute too. This Valentino denim bag also caught my eye. It has a top handle and it's big enough to wear that on the crook of your arm like this. In your hands and it also has um, 
strap crossbody uh, chain to wear that crossbody and the pocket bag pocket you know i'm an absolute fan of the bag pocket say that every single time and the cute denim crescent bag from valentino as well see this combination of the chain and the leather strap cute cute crescent bag with uh, i don't think it's a great capacity to be honest with you due to the shape and the size of the bag but it's really cute and it could be a great bag you know for running your everyday errands and also a night out all around the town bag that sort of thing and i think it would really benefit to be honest with you with a cross body strap in this case it would make it just a perfectly bag but unfortunately it's just a shoulder strap in this instance and what did i say a minute ago about this shape of the bags in the Prada corner. Here we have one from the Valentina with the studs. Wow, all over. <laughs> See, every time when I complain about fitsies or lack of the fitsies on the on the bag, I will remember that one. <laughs> as many as you wish. But look at this shape, and remember what I said that it's going to be a one of the most fashionable and used shapes coming summer and autumn season and we have the same shape in black with the silver chain and with a top handle and no top handle at all and I don't think that chain could be used mm, it can Technically, it can be used as a handle, but to be honest with you, it's not sitting really comfortably in hands and it's like a little bit on the awkward side and it's also, you know, kind of like a leaning the bag towards my body, that sort of way. Not a fan. What a nice little cutie. Look at this. I have a soft spot for teeny weeny bags. This one is incredibly cute, small, and it also can be worn cross body. And that's a heritage classic check pattern from the Burberry as well. I love this green color and this bucket bag. Mm, let's have a 
have a look. So cute. It's an unusual form of the back and bag. Not your kind of like a roundy one, but it's a little bit of trapezian shape. And that's the bigger size of the same color and the same back and bag. I kind of think, I kind of like it in a bigger size. And it's extremely light because I didn't expect it to be so light, but it is. And the color is so summery and vibrant. And again, it's rather on the light side of the bag. I'm quite surprised, you know. Oh, let me just adjust that just to see what it looks like. Like this. The shoulders, shoulder strap, I think, not quite long what I would like for my powdered shoulders for this jacket, for the Zara jacket. But I think if I didn't have that awkward <laughs> Uh, padded shoulders I think it will be absolutely fine and the bag would go absolutely fine. We are in the boundary now. I'm here to try on soft base water. This is it. I believe it's a chalk color and a linen green. I absolutely love this color. It looks more like a lighter but it's actually in real life more olivey green. I'm going to try it on again. I tried that last time when I've been to the Marbury shop, but I'm also after the Claveri tote bag. I've just been uh, corrected by my sales assistant the way she pronounced, the way I pronounced the Claveri bag. So it's a Claveri actually. But before I'm going to try this on, I'm going to show you a few things. That's actually a mini Claveri really cute as well i like this kind of like a half trapezian shape as well and the color it's a light oak color one of those colors you know which goes really well with pretty much anything and zipped base water and the small and the mini size i love that the mulberry actually re-released those bags this season i know that they discontinued them before i have one in micro size and i absolutely love it and alexa and that's me and a clavelli bag in the regular size i love this bag look at those shoulder straps due to the fact that it's a wider part on the shoulder strap it sits so comfortably on the shoulder even with my awkward padded shoulder pads <laughs> you know I've said that before and I'm going to say that again that at the moment the Clavelli bag this particular tote bag is on the top of my wish list for the tote bags I'm missing a really good tote bag in my collection so this one is definitely up there along with uh, Olivia to never fill an imprint in leather and here we've got mulberry soft base water the more I see this bag the more I want it's beautiful such a fashionable edgy bag with absolutely no hardware and that's why it's really a lightweight it sits really comfortably on your shoulder it has a great capacity 
but you know, because it's a lightweight, your overall weight of the bag is not going to be compromised, but anything that you're going to put inside and this neutral color called linen green, I would call it like more like an olive green. And then just to compare, I grab this massive classic base water. It gives me our naughty vibes <laughs> of those huge Hermes Birkings Olsen twins used to carry. Do you remember those ones? I'm going to put the picture. <laughs> That's the vibe I'm getting here. It's heavy, I'm not going to lie, but what a huge bag it is. That is West Base water caught my eye. It has a beautiful denim look. However, it's actually a suede leather. Very edgy. Such a fresh accent to your outfit and a perfect way every day. And it's time to finish our little shopping vlog. We've seen so many great bags today. My absolute favorite would be Prada Vanity bag with a top handle and removable and adjustable strap. It's so cute and it fits my large iPhone Pro Max. And the second favorite would be Mulberry Bay's water. Surprise, surprise, I came to the Mulberry Boutique for the Clovelly tote bag or Clovelly. Clovelly, Clovelly tote bag, but I almost left with a soft base water and that's me for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did you know where to find thumbs up subscribe by the notification bell and i will see you next time bye